So I thought I'd make a quick video showing the three basic components of an HID projector system. Basically you have the projector itself, the HID bulb, and the ballast and igniter. So if you haven't seen a projector before, this is what basically all of them look like. You have a big lens on the front and a reflector housing on the back. This is a bi-xenon projector, so it's capable of both a high and a low beam. And it does that by blocking off the upper half of the beam when you're in low beam mode with this metal plate. And then when you flip your high beams on, it kind of moves out of the way and lets the full beam of light pass through. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the HID bulb. This is a 35 watt 6000K color temperature bulb. I believe they're pretty similar to a metal halide uh, type of bulb, so it's more energy efficient. You get more light output per watt compared to halogen bulbs. And then the ballast itself. This is a 35 watt ballast. Um, they call it a speedy start. I don't know if it actually starts up the bulbs any faster. If you're not familiar, HIDs take a few seconds to warm up when you start them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect it all up and we'll see what it looks like. So the bulb is installed in the back of the projector housing. It's held in place with this metal retaining clip. I have all the wiring connected up to my super safe power supply. We'll go ahead and turn it on and see what it looks like. You can see that flash that's kind of distinct, it's uh, unique to HID systems, followed by the warm up of the bulb, and you can see that nice sharp cutoff line from the high beam and low beam shield. If I activate the high beam solenoid, you can see the full beam of light. It's pretty bright in this room, I would say, so the fact that it shows up this well kind of gives you an idea of how bright it is. See the nice sharp cutoff line? It dips to the left to uh, prevent blinding oncoming drivers. And that's about it. You can see the rainbow effect a little bit. So yeah, if you had any questions about projectors, I hope that answers them, and that wraps it up.